massive ice jam on the Yukon River has caused major flooding in Galena, Alaska, and most of the town has been forced to evacuate. A 30-mile ice wall has even been pushed into homes along the riverbanks. Emergency officials say it hasn't just caused flooding, but something they call ballistic ice. You can have something form and locally start flooding instantaneously. You can have the water come up. Many of the community's houses are even elevated to cope with the frequent flooding, but Alaska officials say this is the worst flood in the area since 1945. Residents on Mexico's southern Pacific coast return home, surrounded by the aftermath of a devastating storm. Hurricane Barbara has hit Mexico's southern Pacific coast, flooding roads, toppling trees and killing two men. A devastating start to what forecasters are predicting will be an extremely active hurricane season. With extraordinary images caught on tape, those tornadoes hitting Oklahoma yet again. You can see the funnel cloud there off in the distance there just a week after we were there in more Oklahoma for that destructive tornado. And now look at this tonight, the new images, the newest storms to hit. What it was like inside one of those countless cars trapped on those Oklahoma interstates. That's the debris flying in the sky right at them, straight at the driver, suddenly caught in the middle of it all. For the past 24 hours, they've been warned to prepare for violent weather, and many did just that, holding up in storm shelters. Others tried to flee in cars, triggering a huge traffic jam. The Weather Service says it was an EF5. That is the strongest category. It killed 19 people. There is new proof this wild weather is producing things we have never seen before. Today, scientists announced that that tornado in Oklahoma is the widest tornado ever recorded on Earth. That's twice as wide as the Moore tornado a week and a half earlier. And the Joplin tornado that killed 158 in 2011 was only three quarters of a mile wide. The most powerful tornadoes with winds over 200 miles an hour are called EF5s. Fridays in Oklahoma was just the 60th EF5 since 1950. And remarkably, Oklahoma had two in just 11 days. Powerful numbers producing deadly results, reminding us again those weather alerts are real. Flood warnings are in effect tonight for a wide stretch of the country. Well beyond Oklahoma, 11 states have widespread flooding from North Dakota to Indiana to Kentucky repeatedly hit the same spot with two or three inch per hour rainfalls, sometimes for many hours. Uh, some places got nine to ten inches of rain. A speed limit sign is all that remains of part of a road in the U.S. state of Oklahoma. Huge wildfires in the west. More than a thousand homes are now being evacuated as out-of-control fires burn in California and in New Mexico. And look at this video of a trapped man spotted by the news chopper from Los Angeles affiliate KABC. This morning, the powerhouse fire is earning its name. Massive flames tearing through mountain canyons north of Los Angeles that haven't burned in 30 years. So Melbourne City has uh, recorded its wettest June day on record with 48.6 millimetres uh, and that's the wettest day since uh, 1904 so definitely a significant amount of rainfall there. It's also the uh, wettest day uh, since the 12th of April 2011 and the wettest winter day since 1924. At least six people have died after deadly floods in Central Europe. Emergency operations are now in place in Austria, Germany and the Czech Republic after record levels of rising water. Thousands have fled their homes, many roads are closed and in some parts electricity has been turned off as a precaution. The moment an earthquake measuring 6.2 on the Richter scale hits Taiwan is caught on CCTV cameras. The quake, which struck 24 miles southeast of the city of Taichung on Sunday, has so far claimed three lives. In these pictures broadcast on local television, people are seen running from a department store as goods are thrown from the shelves and display units collapse. Another camera shows men running down a road as the ground shakes.
In southern Somali town of Johar, hundreds of families and farmers have been displaced after a river burst its banks in middle Shabele region. Those highly affected are the internally displaced persons. Many villages and farms have remained underwater. The local administration says that at least 22 people have been killed due to the floods. Many of the victims are said to be young children. Much of Central Europe remains on flood alert as heavy rains move across the Czech Republic towards Germany and Austria. In Prague, the Vltava is said to be flowing 20 times its normal rate after the authorities were forced to open several dams. This flood, sparked by heavy rain, is being blamed for at least 11 deaths. Areas of suburban Prague and the Czech Republic are still submerged. In the German city of Dresden, the authorities are warning the River Elbe could reach nine meters. That's seven above what's normal for this time of year. A runoff means that river levels are continuing to rise. The army is then drafted in to help. The last great flood was in 2002. They're now saying that along the Elbe, this one will be even worse. In the German city of Dresden, the authorities are warning the River Elbe could reach nine meters. That's seven above what's normal for this time of year. Flood waters are also receding. However, waters in the city located just 30 miles from the Czech border have reached their highest level in more than five centuries.